I'm going to share with you five blue zones where people are living high quality, long lives. I'm also painting my dining room wall. Americans have a lot of chemicals in our food that aren't allowed in other countries. These are five places you might want to live if you want a healthier lifestyle. I'm painting my wall a color called sage brush. Can you see it? It's like a really pretty green. The first blue zone on this list is Sardinia, Italy. Now I've heard mixed reviews about being black in Italy, so I would love for you guys to share your experiences. But apparently there's just a ton of walking, which obviously is so good to keep moving throughout your whole old age. I don't know how this works. This has got to make sense. Yeah. So people in, in Sardinia are walking a lot. Like I don't imagine they're sitting in traffic, they're walking, they're sheep herders, they're outside gardening. There's a lot of movement, which the body in motion stays in motion. But what probably really helps the Sardinians is the M26 marker. Apparently there's a genetic marker that's being passed down that helps with longevity. We could all use the M26 marker. The next city that's a blue zone is Okinawa, Japan. Of course, you know the Japanese eat relatively healthy, fresh fish, a lot of smaller portions than we do in America. But what's special about Okinawa is apparently they have very tight family bonds, very tight-knit communities. People don't just leave each other. There's not so much isolation going on in this particular community, which helps people with their social and emotional support. It probably really helps with their mental health too, because we are very, very isolated in America. Everyone feels like they're just in their own bubble, which isn't good for our mental health. In Okinawa, a lot of women are living past 100. And up next is Nicoya, Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica is probably the next place I'll visit. Their health is based a lot on, they're eating a lot of vegan food. They're eating like little to no meat, a lot of plant-based nutrient dense uh, meals. So, you know, absolutely no processed food going on. So that processed food is part of the problem. It's one of the things that where they're sneaking in a lot of these toxic chemicals into our foods when we grab a bag of Oreos or we, we think it's a harmless car snack, but it's packed full of stuff. We don't know what it is. It's not whole foods. It's not natural. And it's absolutely not nutrient dense. So that's what they've got going on in, in Costa Rica. Also in Costa Rica, as you can imagine, they're spending tons of time outdoors because why wouldn't you? You've got the beach, you've got the jungle, you've got so much beautiful tropical weather. They're outside a lot. You get that vitamin D, you get that fresh air. It's wonderful. And next up was actually surprising to me. Another blue zone is right here in California in Loma Linda. A specific group of people in Loma Linda that are living long are the Seventh-day Adventist church members because they are very specific about taking a day of rest on the Sabbath. And they also eat little to no meat and especially no pork. No, I'm so excited about this color of green. <laughs> so excited. Last but not least is Acaria, Greece. In Greece, they're eating the Mediterranean diet, you know, which is a lot of proteins, leafy greens. You got the chickpeas, you got a lot of fresh food. And that is so healthy. That's of course a, a diet that's trending over here in America. And another thing about Acaria is that they take daily naps. So don't hit on the daily nap. If you're feeling a little sleepy, trust your body, respect your body. That's one thing I think we need to do as a whole, no matter what city we're in is Listen to our body, listen to our intuition. Your body knows if it's hungry, your body knows if it needs milk, meat, whatever, and your body knows when it needs a nap. So listen to your body, eat intuitively, nap whenever you feel like it, and you can maybe have a blue zone in your own home.